we should go see the telepath. It took Sharon Schaefer 20 years to admit the three words she never wanted to say. I am sick. Sharon has epilepsy, and like an estimated 30 to 40 percent of people with the disorder, her seizures weren't controlled by medication. More than one million Americans suffer from uncontrolled epileptic seizures. They've tried multiple medications. They're not a candidate for surgery, or they don't want to undergo an invasive procedure. For these patients, experts at UCLA Health want them to know this. A full-service epilepsy center can help. Surgery is not the only option. There are many other options. Um, but what we try to do is really personalize. Dr. Don Eliashev has seen success with responsive neurostimulation therapy, a new technology in which a tiny device is implanted in the skull. When abnormal brain activity is detected, the device sends an electrical pulse, stopping the seizure in its tracks. The first smart therapy for epilepsy, the device can be fine-tuned, growing more effective over time. So let's increase that to two. UCLA patients who have undergone responsive neurostimulation see on average a 70% reduction in seizure activity. I feel more with it. I feel like I can communicate better. Uh, I feel that I'm doing a better job in the workplace. The device is only one of many treatments available. Whether the best option is surgery, medication, or nerve stimulation, there are emerging therapies to help those who suffer from seizure disorders. It's important to understand that epilepsy is not really a singular disease. You know, it's a wide spectrum of, of faulty networks and, and it will be individualized to the particular network in that particular patient which is causing this devastating disease. At UCLA Health, this is Barb Consiglio reporting.